another Cory B MTG video with me, Cory Ballmeister. Today we're going to be playing ourselves a little bit of Legacy. I'm getting uh, um, a bit more familiar with the format as I have some major Legacy events coming up this weekend. Eternal Weekend is coming up as well, which looks like an incredible event. And uh, honestly, I've just been really loving the format as well. It's a nice shakeup from all the testing I've been doing to get ready for the World Championship. Hope you enjoyed the show if you did indeed watch that. Uh, and a little bit of bookkeeping before we actually get into this. I'm going to be start doing a little bit more YouTube specific only content. As uh, I really wanted to just kind of shift gears away from Twitch. Maybe uploading Twitch VODs that were cut down onto my YouTube channel. And bringing this kind of um, more focused, more intimate content uh, to you. So if this is something you like, please give me some feedback. Always share the video. Make sure to subscribe. That uh, really helps me, um, you know, make more videos like this um, that are specifically for YouTube. So really appreciate all that. So let's dive into it. I'm going to be playing Nadu. This is, I wouldn't say the big bad of the format. It is the big bad of just, you know, magic cards, basically. Nadu, Winged Wisdom uh, is banned basically everywhere but legacy and older formats there as it's just deemed to be too powerful and honestly with some of the play patterns and how it works here in legacy i wouldn't be too shocked if it's not uh too far away that being said i think demir scaminator those kind of decks are also very very strong so uh by no means is this like the best deck in legacy by far um and if anything we're gonna still try to find out exactly what the best deck is here for the next couple of weeks so the deck combines Nadu Winged Wisdom with Nomads and Core. You're able to target them over and over to each turn and not really winning that turn. There's going to be a lot of infinites you could do when you're in uh, paper, you know, when, when, you, when you don't have the limitations of the online client. So there's going to be some things we'll be lacking as far as going completely infinite with sacking all your lands to Sylvan Safekeeper. Um, and, and really fueling through your deck. Now, if we have a creature that can attack, you can just win. But for the most part, we're going to be Nadu comboing until we just have a bunch of Force of Wills, a bunch of Swords, and just gain a huge amount of advantage so our opponent kind of can't do anything. Um, the deck has a lot of ways to assemble this combo with Green Sun Zenith, having great targets like Dried Arbor, uh, Delighted Halflings. It can't get the Nomad and Core, but it can get Bristly Bill, which sometimes can combo just as well with Nadu. Outside of that, we're a Brainstorm Ponder deck. Of course, it's Legacy. You're going to have some of these cards be staples. So we're able to find all our combo pieces pretty quickly. We have our Mana Acceleration and Noble Hierarch and Delighted Halflings. I kind of feel like we're going to want just all Delighted Halflings. Um, the one Noble Hierarch feels slightly strange to me. But whatever, not, not the biggest deal. Otherwise, I think this list is quite tight. We have Keen-Eyed Curator, which can be good against different graveyard strategies, as well as just getting a threat on the battlefield that has Trample, just in case your opponent's putting a bunch of insects into play, something like that, where you actively have to get through damage. Otherwise, I haven't found great uses for this card either, uh, but those, those pinpoints are good enough for me. We have a one of Uro. You know, this is another card where I could see adding more because, well, it's Uro, but this deck is trying to go way over the top uh, and go bigger than Uro, which just feels wrong. But the one colorless green-blue mana cost, always busted in some regard. We got a couple of Teferis and then our Force of Wills uh, to be able to have some permission against our opponents. And then a bunch of sideboard answers to be able to deal with opposing decks. So, all right, today we are going to be playing this really cool Anarog Prelim. Uh, showdown so we need three or four wins to be able to qualify for this sunday big legacy event uh i want to qualify and do well in it as i think this idea of having creators create events uh is really really cool and big shout shout out to uh daybreak torben the rest of the team and anzid for uh making this really cool event so all right let's battle all right, let's do round one here, and our hand looks perfectly fine. We have a Mana Acceleration Creature. Unfortunately, I have to use our Misty for it uh, into a Nadu, so definitely going to keep this and hope uh, our hand's good enough. All right, let's play some Legacy. What do we got? Okay. I'm scared now. 
Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Doesn't look like anything going to be too bad going on here. I wonder if I should Blood Moon. Our Force of Will ability is no good. If I should get a basic forest for Blood Moon here. It doesn't seem terrible. But I guess if I already have the... Yeah, it actually does seem pretty bad if I get Blood Moon here. Where this would make it better. All right. All right. I'm going to do that. I guess I'm going to use a little bit of the magic trick. Um, you know, opponents are probably doing this to you. If you are not, is you type in the opponent's name and uh, magic online. And you can usually see what they're playing. Or what they used to play. So, you know, something like this will pop up. You get a little bit better idea just in case some things are close. And, uh, I mean, well... This is actually good to know. Okay, there are two Blood Moons, so pretty good to know. Just the mono red, really aggressive deck. Um, that shouldn't be the worst matchup for us, but the fact that we should get Forest here, I think. Um, but I actually, I don't need anything countered, so I think Noble Hierarch is better as far as getting the land down, as it can cast a Brainstorm if I don't want to just Nadu straight away. So let's do that. And we'll say go. Now I can't force a will anything because of the stupid vexing bobble. Which they play a four of as a main deck. Main deck card. That's pretty wild. It's good to do that. To just get to know what kind of decks you're playing against. Kind of visualize what your opponents could be doing to you at all points. Uh, it's just a way to be a better magic player. Um, and of course there is the, well, that sucks that you kind of know what they're playing. They might be doing it to you. And, um... Yeah, I mean, it's Magic Online. Use what, what is given to you. All right, let's see what our opponent wants to do. Big thanks. So maybe they don't have third land and they're thinking of sacking the bobble. I mean, we went forest into Noble Hierarch, so it's not for sure that we're a Force of Will deck. And we, you know, we just drew it. Otherwise, you'd probably force this. Maybe. It's an interesting deck. I don't necessarily think it's like incredibly good or anything, but it, it's definitely interesting. Okay, so it could be one of many three drops. Okay, got rid of that. Totally fine with us. Um, yeah, I think just a pretty easy halfling. They can sacrifice this, but whatever. Into probably brainstorm. There's a chance we don't brainstorm here. But they gave away one of their mana sources for that. And now they could give away their Vexing Bobble to throw it at this. That's how this card works. Oh, it's two plus. Okay. So yeah, the Mox, that dealt two to it. I was thinking it was just one extra, but whatever. This card is still just very good regardless. No Swords of Plowshard to be able to answer it. And with playing the Forest, we kind of made it so we couldn't brainstorm into it. But whatever, this is, this is kind of bait anyways. So if they want a Vexing Bobble that, that's fine. Now we can actually counter something and play Nadu. Now I'm pretty sure I don't want to brainstorm, but that's actually maybe not for sure true. Okay. Now I actually do want to brainstorm because I can shuffle away one of these lands. So if I put this land away, I really don't want to draw this either, but do I want to shuffle away a land? Either way, I'm feeling great about this game. Could just shuffle away this. Yeah, let's just shuffle away that. Uh, 
Okay, let's do this. We can probably get blue green here. And blue, green, white. Get the Nadu all set up for next turn with a counterspell backup. So if they play a two mana artifact, then they could sack, sack another. So they can't sacrifice this. I can't block. And now next turn we go off. All right, game time. All right, so now we begin. One way to do this here, I always, always yield, always yield. Just goes a little faster because you do, you will be doing some clicks. The target itself, <clears throat> always yield, target itself. All right, now we can just get Dryad Arbor, have some more. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, let's play another creature. We'll just keep it going as long as we can. Try to draw some counter spells is kind of the main thing. So now we can Green Sun Zenith for one. Or we could ponder, but Green Sun Zenith for one seems fine here. Just really is just the name of just keep going to get more creatures. We'll get a safekeeper as well. Protect the creatures. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Something like that. Okay, so there's the swords. We have this, so we can just protect this. That seems totally fine. We'll say go. Now we can combo on their turn. There's probably a world where I could have just won here. I kind of forgot I could attack, but whatever. It just doesn't matter when we get to this stage, so. All right, we kind of looked at their deck, so we might as well take a peek for sideboard card. So more moon effects, so we got to be, there's a lot more moon. So we got to be very wary of that, plus some pirate blasts. But yeah, just basically the only thing we got to do is make sure that we search up basics and control their extremely fast cards. So our swords are going to be great. I think our forces are still fine. Don't need this. Almost. I think you always need the endurance. Maybe not. Don't need the Teferis too much. The Uro. I don't really envision the games being centered around Uro. So I'm going to take that out. But I can see that being wrong. <clears throat> now what do we want in? Force of Vigor seems pretty strong. They have... It doesn't hit Vexing Bobbles, but it does hit Moxes. That's kind of it, though, actually. So that, that actually doesn't seem great to me. Consigns, hits the One Ring, hits Vexing Bobble, hits Chromox. But Chromox doesn't exile until it comes into play, so that's not the biggest deal either. Um, Could get more removal spells. I like the endings. Collector, oof. Is reasonable. It shuts down their one rings. That's not great because they can kill it. Mm. Don't love anything else. So maybe I'll leave in the Uro and maybe one to fairy. I don't think I want to force or anything. Could see one force of vigor. Yeah, we'll go with to fairy. I'm a little bit of a noob on sideboarding this, I will admit. So I'm kind of just learning as I go. But more than anything, you just don't want to disrupt your combo too much and try to stay as open as you can. Now we're going to really focus on our basics here as we don't want to get turn one blood moon or anything. Um, you know, maybe I should have force of negation instead of Teferi and Uro as they do just have the one ring, which I feel like I have to deal with. And then Blood Moons, yeah, didn't get it in time. I don't even know if I'd want it. So on the play, I definitely want the configuration I have. But on the draw, having some disruption like that could be not the worst. I think I'm going to keep this. I have, They're on a mulligan to six. I have some disruption. I have a land to surveil. And then once I hit land three, I can kind of start going off. 
I don't think it's amazing or the smartest keep ever, but uh, I am going to give it a shot. I just hope they don't Vexing Bottle because then I, they've mulliganed to five. So now the odds of them keeping a card like Vexing Bottle seems lower. So I, I like my decision better. But being able to force here immediately seems great. Endurance is the only card I don't love in my hand. It's not really needed uh, to ever really be in your opening hand. So let's see what they got. A turn off is excellent. Land? No. All right. So we're going to have to surveil with this. That would have been force of negation. But honestly, kind of the same being a blue card here. Got a lot of disruption and we got to surveil. We got two looks at it. And then we got first counter spell for this. Probably Uro could be Teferi. Let's get rid of Teferi. I really don't think Teferi is very good here. Now we could start negating the moons by getting basics, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Because we need either the Hedge Maze or the Lush Portico. And I think the Hedge Maze is more important in case we draw like Ponder or Brainstorm. So a land. I think that's good enough to keep. Especially being the basic. Like I, I think it's a little too greedy to bottom that even though it's not a great land. Because we just go land go here. But being able to get Nadu down. And then hopefully draw into a white source here is good enough. I'd like to not have to use a counter spell here. That's excellent. Okay, that was good too. So now do I want to play around uh, um, a pyro burst or something? I don't think so. I think I just jam. Gross. Gross. We're brainstorm locked for a long time. Hmm. Okay, well, that worked out as bad as possible. All right, we just have to draw these and get through this aspect of the game. We're not going to do anything for multiple turns. That's kind of a death nail. That was really unlucky. Maybe they'll buy us some time. Okay, we're just going to say go. We'll have to do this for one more turn. And we can counter one thing. Looks like they might be a little flooded too. I don't think this is the biggest deal. I think I got to let this one slide. Just taking two every turn. I can beat that eventually, I feel. Now we're going to have to just discard the hand size, but discarding a row is not so bad. All right, let's hope we can draw out of it next turn. Really unlucky, everyone, I must say. I mean, the keep could have just been questionable, but from the brainstorm, it was unlucky. Okay, do they have the one ring? I'll take it. I'm worried now. Yeah, they have two Pyroblasts, two Red Elemental Blasts in the board at any point. Is this a Fury, just an aggressive Fury? I think so. 
Yeah, I still can't allow that. We would take a land that doesn't say Lush Portico, please. That would be a tilter. All their threats are just so scary if we don't draw a land. So let's do it. Big draw step. Very good land. Okay. Let's do it. Here's Nadu. Now next turn, we got it wrapped up. They can, of course, kill this. But I'd rather get down a Nadu here than just play a Nomad's end, end core because we'll get a, a trigger here. And then if we hit any other fourth land, then we're just uh, going. Okay, they're going to throw that at Nadu. Pretty good. Trigger Nadu. Even if we got force. Oh, yeah. It's not like this is a spell, so. Okay. Nadu's dead. Now we might not use our last Nadu here if we don't have to. Okay. We might brainstorm if we don't find anything, but hopefully we can dodge them casting something big first. We'll definitely treat this one much safer as uh, it's our last one in hand. Okay, nothing. Okay. So. Now they could have a blast. Which would be a little unfortunate, but not much I can do about it right now. I think I just jam here. So we'll go with this. Let's hope for the best. Here's Nadu. Okay. And there's the force to pretty much lock it up. All right. So we'll keep it going. Okay. Here's one for you. Ah, oh, this deck's busted. Busted in half, I tell ya. Okay, so now let's uh, brainstorm. All right, we can shuffle away this and this. Get one of these. Here is this. And away we go. All right. Trying to find more counter magic, I suppose. All right. Blue, white, blue, white. So only white mana available. So we're going to actually just get our planes. Get another one of these. More activations. More activations. Same thing, only white available. All right. And this should be the end. Yeah, I mean, just look what we did. I mean, we just drew one million cards. <laughs> like, what is a normal deck like Mono Red supposed to do against this Bat Nadu busted deck? I absolutely love this deck. Let's play round two. The play with this band deck feels really, really good. Having three Nadus, though, and the Endurance that we don't want is not good, though. So we're going to mulligan this one. This deck mulligans extremely well. You just got to find the combo pieces. I'm going to keep this. Now, what do I want to put back? That is a good question. I think this is another opportunity to kind of look at what my opponent could be playing. Because if they're like a creatureless deck... Um, Demir Reanimator. With something where Swords of Plowshare is not very good. I could always put back that. 
So, I mean, this is the big bad of the format. This is definitely the best deck. Kind of looking at what they're playing. You know, looks like just the bread and butter, best deck of the format. Does play Thought Seizes. So, this matchup's just always close. I think I want to keep my combo cards. And I kind of want to keep my Brainstorm here. To be able to like tuck away my cards if they try to thought seize me. I could also just green sun zenith for dried arbor right away. A lot of options here. And none of them are particularly good. They're all definitely dependent on what my opponent has. And I think I want to play around them. I want to play around dealing with their frog if I can. So with that being the case, I think I put back land and start with Lush Portico. I, I could see this being wrong, to be honest. Because I don't really know what I want to surveil into, but it's my only white source. You definitely want to be proactive and try to put them in a weird spot as soon as you can because they go i would say they go way over the top of you but that's not necessarily true because nadu kind of does the the most ridiculous things but they still go very very far over you okay um a fetch lounge is definitely not terrible here now if they thought sees away my brainstorm i feel a little bit worse about keeping it but i think i will keep it and kind of hope I think being able to answer their medium draw of having a turn two frog, I think, is what appeals to me with this hand, but we shall see. Because they can just go Entomb Attracts on me on turn two. Oh, okay. They're playing something different now. All right, completely get that out of our, our system here. This is why the M Magic Online stuff is not perfect. But I don't think I would have changed too much here. So it looks like they are just not doing as well. All right, now it's just all about speed. And probably still killing this bird. Okay. Now I could just play both of these and really threaten the Nadu line. That does involve cracking my Misty for a Tundra. Or I hold off until I see a Nadu. I mean, I feel like you always got to bolt the bird in situations like this. But maybe it's not correct. I am going to do it but I have low confidence on this. And I am going to get blue-white and play my combo piece. That way I'm at least threatening um, to Nadu. If we top deck it, of course, amazing. I haven't played uh, too many mirror matches here. Of course it might not be a mirror. They could be trying to do fate, you know, fair bant stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. I would think this matchup still just comes down to who can combo first and who can be a little interactive. So we don't have the combo even ready to go next turn, but probably the turn after if we can brainstorm. Yeah, they just top aided one of the legacy challenges with a reanimator, and then they're like, you know what? I want to play the busted deck. Okay. Um. 
All right, let's see if they're going to play a creature or if they're going to just hold up swords. Okay. So they're ready to go with the combo if they have it next turn, which is scary. Okay, Nadu. Not a good draw, so we'll start with a brainstorm. I was like, they're playing slow. They could either be thinking about forcing this or. Uh, just a little AFK. Okay. Well, so unfortunately we don't have another blue card. So if we wanted, to, actually this isn't so bad because I can go like this, then this, and I can go like this, cast this, and then force, yeah, so right now I can force their Nadu and then play Nadu off the top. So yeah, okay, okay, this is not bad at all. I don't wanna attack. Oh, actually I could, it, it doesn't matter. Attacking doesn't, doesn't do anything. So if they have Nadu plus force backup, I think we just lose. But if they don't have those things, we can go Uncounterable Nadu or Green Sun with Force Backup. And I think Uncounterable Nadu is just better. Kind of just look at our own list, what they can possibly have. And like, there's not much. To, to do with the uncounterable effect from from Delighted Halfling. Okay, looks like we get to be the first one to do the thing. Blue, green. Nadu! All right, so we wanna start with the non-Nadu because they're gonna target for us, I believe. Okay, and here we go. Looks like they did not have a very good draw. Okay. We're Nadu gamers. We uh, understand once it's over. And I don't think either of our sideboard is going to be too keen to deal with it. We're going to start with the Prismatics. They seem perfectly reasonable at dealing with the early creatures. The game's just not going to be about Uroing. It's not going to be about gaining trample. <coughs> There's nothing we need to force a vigor. Nothing collector is going to hit. Veil could be good. Fighting through counter spells, but not amazing. Carpet seems bad. Yeah, honestly, I think this is all I want. Pretty much just a who can do it faster. All right, let's see what one drop they got. Halfling, I think I really do have to counter. Yeah, it's a bummer. Now the real question is, do I get rid of Teferi? My Teferi, maybe Teferi just isn't that good. I mean, it shuts off their counter magic. All right, I'll get rid of Brainstorm. All right, that is the combo. So let's start with this. Say go. Pretty clear they don't have a force. <coughs> I 
Yes, that's what we want to see. I mean, oh yeah, they can't counter this. So now we don't want to see our halfling go away, and then I feel great. Especially if they don't play land two. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay. So probably blue-white here, not the draw we wanted. Now we're going to need... We kind of need two lands, so it's not going amazing. Opponent is quite slow. All right. Blue white. Here is a Teferi. Still think I'm bouncing the halfling, even though bouncing Nadu next turn if they were to do it would be kind of helpful. Okay. All right, let's get this out of there. Swords is pretty good. More brainstorms, so they can for sure replay the halfling, not a big deal. Hopefully we can draw land four so we can leave up a instant speed zenith. Okay, that will not be the case. Okay. Well, now I think I just have to say go and exile something, maybe green sun for just a dryad arbor. I don't love that. So we're just going to say go. Play some defense. The mana doesn't really do much for him, so no real point in ending now. We don't have land four, so no point in getting one of this going. <clears throat> All right, Teferi or Nadu? Looks like Nadu. Okay. Now let's see. They kept the card. All right. Well, we're going to see what it is. Let's swords not do. Not bad. So they're just trying to get rid of this, I guess. God, that's such a bad draw. Um, well... No good play except just saying go here. If they go to attack all at uh, Teferi, at least I can Zenith for one. Which is also not amazing. Yep, not who's back. Um, yeah. Okay. Just attacking two at that is not that big of a deal. So I think I'm going to let that happen and just green sun for a noble hierarch so I can deal with this. All right, left back the Dryad Arbor. Yeah, I guess they didn't want me to green sun into Halfling. Okay. I 
I've got to be able to kill Noble, and this is the only way. So the Halfling doesn't give me the mana I need. So at least I have that under control. I could ponder for a land here to get a little aggressive. I don't hate it. If I miss, it's not the absolute end of the world since they don't have the combo anyways. Okay, this was all good. So now, how can I guarantee I can green sun next turn? I have to put the planes on top so I can ending this. And then it's just not possible outside of that. So four lands, I'll need to draw two cards, which I can't. So I guess we'll put this on the bottom, this here, this here, not shuffle. And see what they do. I'm tempted to just not do anything about this. Like this isn't a big deal yet. Then I don't use my mana. Wow. Not going to kill that. Okay, then I'm definitely doing this. Perfect. Now I can leave up green sun for three at instant speed. Do they get another one? God dang it. I mean, still not the worst deal because they don't have the other combo part, but. All right, well, let's say go. I don't think I have any interactive creature that I can put into play to stop if they do top deck the thing. <coughs> it's been a strange game where I feel like if we just didn't draw two of these Nomad and Cores, we'd be winning by so much. But that awkwardness was pretty bad. So they should go get the other Lush, the Lush Portico. Oh, they play all three, huh? Okay, that makes sense. All right, they got to bin a land. Oh, shoot. Dang it. They had to draw it there. Uh, yeah, not nothing I can do. I mean, that's not the, that's the least good one, I guess. But let's see. They get to go off. Let's see what they can do. Grist. Interesting. Uncast. No, they can cast that. Brainstorm. Now I gotta start keeping track. What are they gonna try to kill? So it's still uncounterable. I have to do it now and just pray. So can't do anything about this. Where's my Nadu? And that's the best I got. See how many lands they want to sack. Oh, 
I'm getting the bill. Yeah, that'll probably do it. This is not deterministic though, so I'll uh I'll let them do their thing. It's getting close though. Leopold. Strange. Okay. That's gone, that's gone. Still feel like we're pretty much at no outs, but man, we had this game wrapped up. Dang, there it is. All right, that's gonna do it. I guess we could top deck Nadu next turn. And give ourselves a chance. That's pretty much the only out at this point. They have two dried arbors? Yeah, I was going to say. The four should clean it up. Bummer. All right, that's too bad. Okay, so they have Gris, they have Leovold. Otherwise, not much. And I don't even think those cards are that good. And I can't do much about it. So I'm gonna resubmit. Try to be a little faster on the play. I think with all their Black Splash, they may have you know, a little bit more cuteness going on. Um, but I think just the good consistent BANT version is just going to be much more streamlined. Okay, on the play, let's have a good draw. Yeah, that's, that's a good draw I was speaking of. Okay, I'm going to keep. This kind of has it all. Don't really want to just put Nadu out there to die on turn two. So we'll lead with this and see what they do. All right, things are uncounterable. I mean, maybe I will put Nadu out there. Carpet. Interesting. Okay. That is scary. Now I think I should put Nadu out there. Um, let's go, what is this, blue? Number of islands, so I should get Savannah. All right, we got the bird. Hope they don't have the turn two. I mean, Carpet of Flowers gives them the possibility. Maybe I should have brought it in. Or I just should have started on Savannah. My problems would have been solved if I did that. So maybe I chuck this game. Because I'm straight dead if they do it. Okay, just Green Sun for it is not the worst. It's good, of course, but let's hope it doesn't matter. I think I play this as bait. I 
Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They fell for it. Yay! Yes! We're the true Nanu master! 2-0! We just need to win one of the next two rounds to qualify for the Sunday event. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think we played that part well. Maybe I should have brought in Carpet of Flowers, though, because that actually was really nice for them. Put us on the back foot. Kind of took the play from us. So, all right, we're learning. I think I will do that next time. So, all right, third round coming up. Round number three. Let's do it. I am on the play where you want to be with this deck. Okay, so we have just a good hand I'm going to be keeping, but it is awkward with the hedge maze, of course. Um, but, yeah, once again, just going to keep it no matter what. We're going to lead with the hedge maze. The Karagas is also slightly awkward, but no problem. We'll see what our opponent's playing while we're waiting for them to react. Or see if we can get an idea, at least. Mono White Initiative. It's been a Mono White gamer for a long time. Oh, yeah. Jacked Rabbit. Hell yeah. All right. So, should be a good matchup. But this is the type of deck where, you know, they nut draw you and it just doesn't matter that much when you do. And this could be a punishing thing to be on, uh, you know, playing a tap land turn one. So maybe I should have checked first. Still wouldn't have changed my decision. I still think this is a keeper here. No problem. And let's get it going. All right, let's do a maze. Wouldn't mind another land. <laughs> That's the worst land. This is the absolute worst land, so I don't want that. I don't want this, like, in my graveyard, though, either. So that actually really hurt, but that's okay. Never F6, even when we have a hand like this. We don't want them to know that the coast is clear. Okay. see how they're going to approach turn number one okay so there's their free land now they have a bunch of city of traders a bunch of ancient tombs oh god they have a lot of wastelands this could be really bad i still can't keep that even with this but yeah they're they're a four wasteland deck okay good See what card they want to play. The Dungeoner costs four. They have Archon of Myrias, which aren't good. Anointed Peacekeepers. And looks like they're just passing. Okay. They have a lot of removal as well, though. So they have swords plus things. So maybe even playing a creature here isn't correct. This might be a ponder time because of how much removal they can do. If anything... We just want to make sure they don't use their mana here. And by drawing another ponder, I think I'm pretty priced in to finding more lands. Okay, this is all good. Top, top, top. No shuffle. I guess it is awkward in the sense that, ah, maybe that was wrong. I definitely am not shuffling now at this point, but now I have Force of Wills on top that I can't access. I was kind of thinking I can ponder here, but that is not possible. So I could play Caracas to try to sword something from them. They only have two of the one rings. And then I draw the one of the force of wills all i really want is one like they could easily go season dungeoner next turn and like i could kill it 
But they still have the initiative. Hmm. And we're still pretty far away from the combo. And I could, of course, just ponder here. Maybe that's best. Or just play Halfling, make them have their mobile spell. Then they could Palace Jailer me. Making them have their removal spell is not the absolute worst, but because Halfling is going to get a lot worse as it goes. I can't see Zenith for, for zero for the Arbor, so that's no good. I mean, I don't even care about the one ring, so I don't even know why that's crossing my mind as much as it is. And if they're swordsing this instead of swordsing this, I think that's fine. So, all right, let's do that. Now let's just think of what land we want to get. I think it's still just green-blue. I really need to have my blue mana in case they have one wasteland. So let's go like this and say go. Looks like they don't have it. So now technically, if we top deck one of our four nomads, we could pop off next turn. Flagstones. Huh. It's an interesting land to have. To say Palace Jailer. Okay. That is kind of what I didn't want to see here. I think they would have played it anyways. So they're the monarch, and I don't get it back until I take the monarchy from them. So killing this kind of does nothing. Um, I think we just ponder then, or we just cast Nadu here, but that doesn't seem great. Could also green sun for something. I don't love that. <clears throat> These are good cards. Um... Mm -hmm. green sun for one it's not very effective though except trying to pressure the monarchy Could just hold open a swords. Kind of want two of these. Teferi's the one card I don't think I want. All right, I'm going to keep these. This could be a mistake, though. And I think I'm just going to go land go. Which also doesn't feel great. Yeah, maybe this just should have been a Nadu turn. I'm kind of regretting my decision now. Force them to have it. Since I kind of had the backup Nadu. Until I become the monarch. Just 
Next turn could easily be just green sun for three, not go. This is close to the remnants of a mono white taxes deck as we got. What does Jackrabbit even really do? Let's see, okay. What does Ravenous do? Extra plus one plus one. Okay. Jack Rabbit is such a hilarious design. Interesting to use that. I mean, they must be still wanting to play a land. Otherwise, you just play this as a land and hold the mocks for something else. So they must still have a land to play. Five mana available. The Jacked Rabbit. Okay, when this creature enters for its mouse home. Okay, there we go. There's our target to kill. Glad we actually did it this way. Now we get to use our white mana. Then I think next turn we'll just play Nadu with Green Sun. It's whenever this attacks. Okay, yep. All right, end step, let's sword the rabbit. They get to draw, okay, pretty scripted turn as we're drawing ponder. So we can either ponder or just green sun. I think I'm just green sunning here. We'll get rid of the Teferi. The Teferi's not that needed anyways. Get a blue white land and we'll green sun here. For Nadu. All right, your go. I can imagine they probably have a plethora of removal spells for this. Oh, they're going to do it now in my main phase? Ah, okay. That is punishing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is quite punishing. If I would have did that and left up mana, then this wouldn't have happened, but whatever. Still think we're okay. Okay, you become the monarch. Now I'll never get that halfling back, I imagine. Still drew to fairy, moto bug. And we'll go from here. Now we gotta protect this other Nadu. Yep, there it is. So now we could Teferi plus Swords. Swords this, Teferi this. That's one option. Or we can just top deck the combo. That would be cool. Might not even be worth it to play, though, in the face of Solitude. So they venture into the Undercity. They get a basic land. Whenever any creature attacks, it explores. Oh, I guess those are not the types. Didn't play the planes. The beginning of your upkeep, you do that. Okay. Okay, all right, that I didn't want to see. 
Let's see what they name. My Caracas is doing nothing. They're definitely starting to fall behind. So you'd think they had named swords to slow me down. But we'll see. I mean, this does open the door if they don't name Nadu to just combo them if I top deck one of the four nomads. Opponent's also been very slow, so we're going to make them do all the clicks throughout these games as uh, they're very behind on clock already. Named Nadu. Makes sense. I know their last card in hand is planes. And they're about to draw one more. Dang, we would have did it if they didn't name Nadu. Holy cow. So I could swords this and then play Nadu. That is an option. Or... We Teferi bounce this, and then we deal with this. I think I like that. I guess at the beginning of their upkeep, they're gonna have the initiative, so they're still gonna venture. So they could play that, make me lose five, nine, I don't think it's enough to kill me, so this isn't that big of a deal. I don't want them to look at my hand again, though. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, and I just have to say go. They know about the swords, which is a little unfortunate, but not much I can do. Smart place to put that. All right, so I know they have planes, dungeoner, and two mystery cards drawn. One mystery card. Yep. Target attack me, so it does target. So I can let them attack and then kill it because it explores, but it's going to die anyways, per my understanding. I could have that wrong though. But I want them to attack to see if they attack the Teferi or not. Both of me. OK, 
kill this now anyways and Teferi lives no I did peacekeeper off the top so they do still get it they did still get the explorer okay but yeah it stayed on top as long as they can't draw it uh can't cast more than one spell that'll probably lock it up dang it i needed to cast more than one spell <laughs> shoot I think that does it. More than one spell each turn. Can't do that. All right, well, we'll say go. This is still game one. We were so close. Okay. Protection from creatures, I can't block that, so I just die. All right, that was a good game. That was a very good game. Well played by opponent. Okay, so I think the main card I have to deal with is Containment Priest and Trinisphere. That's the things I'm most afraid of. Collector Oof seems decent as well. They have a decent amount of artifacts. Lotus Petal. I think as a one of, that's totally fine. Otherwise, I just want to kill their creatures. Not change too much here. Um, I don't need Trample here, I would imagine. I want all my removal spells. Teferi's looked pretty bad as they usually do, so we'll go like this. I lied, we're gonna keep one Teferi, get rid of the Uro.
All right, on the play, let's do this. Okay, I think this is totally reasonable. I guess Wasteland is what I'm afraid of most. But I still think I'm going to keep this. I don't think I want to lead on Dryad Arbor. And let, no, no, no. So I don't want to be open to Wasteland, so I'm just going to do this. Maybe we'll get Hedge Maze. Or we'll just Brainstorm. Probably Hedge Maze. Is that the biggest deal? It really isn't, because I can swords it. I can just get Tundra here. Okay. I guess I have to get it first. That could have been bad. Tundra, Seisure, swords it, untap. Now we can brainstorm. Not bad. Well, I don't mind keeping the lands. I could bin one of these Zenus and then surveil it away. Seems decent to me. And then draw the other one. And say go. The Peacekeeper. How big of a deal is this? They'll probably name Swords or Force. I'm drawing Green Suns. So this actually does seem scary to me. It also feels like bait. Teferi's not that good, and I don't want them to see my hand yet. So, all right, I'm going to do this, but unsure. No follow-up. Okay, well, let's brainstorm. Oof here. Oof is good. And get rid of this and halfling and then just oof. I like it. Shut down this. This could backfire if they just have a removal spell for this. Oof. Oh, I guess, yeah, they don't have white, so they could have solitude. Hopefully they just pass. Okay, sick. Okay, not sick. Um, yeah, I don't think I want a green sun for two for anything. See what we could get. Yeah, nothing great. I think we just have to hold. Hmm. Yep, don't love it. That was a really bad draw. Yep. Okay.
Get rid of that. Dang it. All right, we'll play this and be sad. Bad draws off the top. They get to scry in their upkeep, which is pretty nice for them. So I know they have two good cards and then a planes. So that's scary. So they could just palace jailer me here. That would probably be the best. Two top. Yep. Get a treasure token. Okay, can I find a way to get through or just play Nadu? Looks like just play Nadu is the option. Could get an Uro here, but I don't think it's great. And I might have sided it out anyways. So let's get a Nadu. And then we have Bristly, or not Bristly, Bill Dryad Arbor to be able to sneak through if possible. So now they can get a 4 1 skeleton. With Menace. Now, if they try to kill this and we do go into a blue card, that's pretty ideal. We could even surveil if we want to try to increase our odds of doing so. All right, got rid of that. Excellent. I need to take the initiative back here shortly. Okay. That is smart. All right, I need to find some answers here. I think I just get Lush Portico. Don't want that. There's a Ponder we can use to our advantage. Prismatic ending. Well, not bad. Because I do have to deal with this. No. All right, let's attack, take the initiative. This just basically has to work too, which it's not going to. Yeah, we're so dead now. So dead. I mean, I guess I'm getting another green sun here. And this is gone. I could get Nadu. Deal with this later, I suppose. It's not that big of a deal. So 
another Nadu, but not gonna be good enough. Dang, this uh, this white deck just pe picked me apart. I really thought it was gonna be easy. I thought this was gonna be no problem. If we can win this game, we'd probably win the match, though, which is the nice thing. But I don't think it's going to be that easy. Two clerics. Uh, yeah, okay. I can't block anything. Wasteland might be the nail. Just because I think I would need three lands plus this to be able to deal with the Peacekeeper. Yeah, I think that got me. Let's see. No, that's not going to be enough. Damn. Okay. GG's. GG's. Tough match. Okay. Well, we got one more match to be able to get the three wins here in this event. So hopefully we can tighten up and get it done. Uh, Mono White. Taxes. Still got it. See you next round. Oh, got to say hello. Do I want to keep this? I think I do. It's not amazing, but I'm going to keep it. Let's see what's up. See what we're up against. Okay. Pondering their options. We're probably going to be doing the same. Chose to shuffle. Another Encore is not amazing. In fact, it was terrible. Do I want to play that to just bait out a removal spell? Not the worst thing ever. Or I just ponder and risk getting dazed. I think I will just lead out an Encore here. Totally fine if something bad happens to this, but I want to keep swords open plus force backup for an inevitable frog here. Thoughtseize. Yeah, I gotta let that happen. Now my secrets are up. My secrets are available for the taking. And now they'll never kill this, which is an unfortunate... Side effect of uh, getting thought seized here. There's a chance I just play Bristly Bill and go to town, though. Sand is not great up against Scaminator. Whatever you call this deck now. I suppose it's just Reanimator. Takes my Ponder. That's probably pretty smart. Now we're F6, we got nothing to do. Okay. <laughs> what a horrendous draw. What an absolutely horrendous draw. So, all right, we're gonna get in there with this. We're gonna play this and say, you know what, if you wanna daze me, go ahead. All right, and then we'll go like this and say go. Just running no bounds in core when we were trying to find them last, uh, last time. So we're probably gonna be done here pretty soon.
Yeah, and now they can... Uh, Um, I guess green white. Now I guess if they have the days, then uh, I still get dazed here. So yeah, maybe this was pretty bad. Almost doesn't matter. They still get the Atraxa trigger, which is devastating. Brazen Bar, Days, Wasteland. So Brazy B and Days. Two good cards, of course, but maybe we have somewhat of a chance. All right. So this is going to just get Dazed. But I guess I don't care that much. Our hand is just so terrible. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I think I still stand by. The hand was perfectly reasonable. Maybe I just uh, did it wrong by not pondering. Because I would have saw the end cores and I would have just shuffled. And the game would have looked different. So, I mean, that's legacy for you. Just minor things matter so much. Okay. Now I can't beat a frog. Yeah, honestly, I feel like just going to, to the next game. Can't win this one. All right. So, Demir Scaminator. We definitely want these cards. Um, I don't... Uh, the Curator can be a good in this, actually. Teferi seems reasonable. They're going to bring in probably... Uh, Probably not a ton. I need to leave my swords in for the frogs. And take out Noble Hierarch. I can probably take out the Endurance. Eh, we'll still keep it. Could probably take out the Safekeeper. Or the Bristly Bill. Or both. Could take out Uro, but this could actually be a match where Uro could be good. Probably not. Um, and then Teferi's not bouncing much, but it does protect you. That doesn't seem great either. Let's take that out and let's just go a nice smooth streamlined draw with carpets and veils. Sounds good to me. Let's give it a shot. Well, having the endurance in hand isn't the worst thing ever. It's maybe not the best. I don't like mulliganing against this kind of deck anyways, but we got to be wary of Wasteland. Always tough to play. Could turn one green sun. Not bad. Or could turn one delighted halfling. And one brainstorm feels kind of bad, but it might be necessary. All right, I'm going to keep and just go land go. I don't see stifles in a lot of lists, so we'll let this happen. I think I want to just get a hedge maze here. I 
And we'll keep that. Now, all right, let's just go with the halfling. Easily could just get fatal pushed here, but that's okay. Scary. Well, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> Just dead. Yep. <laughs> GG's. All right. <laughs> nut draw. Nut draw. What can you do? What can you do? Would we have brainstormed into anything? No, we wouldn't have done anything anyways. So, all right. Oh, hang on one sec. All right. Okay. Okay, so that does it. A really disappointed ending after uh, starting 2-0, but I mean, that last match, I don't think that matchup is as terrible as it looked, but you know, there's never, you know, maybe, maybe it is, but Adam's a great player. Um, so if anyone's going to play super tight, it's definitely going to be him. Um, and our draws just did not cooperate. Still love the deck. I'm going to be working on it a little bit more. So if you're interested in uh, following along with this deck or any of my uh, tournaments that I do, feel free to find a link in the Patreon below. That is the best spot to find updates on my decks, uh, sideboard guides, coaching opportunities, merch, all kinds of stuff like that. And also a huge thank you to the sponsors of this YouTube channel. It is KMC. So if you are interested in some of KMC's products, KMC and Heavy Play, I should say. If you're interested in any of KMC's products, uh, please go ahead and find the link below. You will find all, all you want as far as KMC sleeves. They have a new mocked deck, deck box. Uh, that's really fancy, high-end, kind of bougie deck box, if I, if I dare say it. Uh, really, really awesome stuff going from them. They got Hypermats, Hypermag Phoenixes, all that kind of stuff you can gather from them. As well as Heavy Play. Heavy Play also has some really, really awesome things going on as well. They have these new Phil Stone um, play mats here that uh, have just been really, really cool. That have some really, really cool artwork that have been put on them. If you haven't seen these, head on over to the link below at heavyplay.com. And you can use promo code Corey B to get 10% off at Heavy Play and 15% off from KMC at any time. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please hit the subscribe button, share these videos. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.